if you see that there is a lot of people going to a certain uh, uh, synagogue, going to a uh, doesn't necessarily always mean that uh, it's the it, it's positive results. Just today, one of my students sent me a new up and coming speaker, up and coming speaker that is getting twenty or forty young kids to uh, to listen to his complete nonsense, telling the kids he himself is a young kid, telling the kids. By the way, I decided that to be Shomer Nagia is not for me. I'm not being honest for myself. Because if I'm Shomer Nagia, that means that I can't save somebody else's life. The level of stupidity that came out of this young man's mouth, I would be, I would be baffled if he ever read a single page in the Chumash. But he is claiming to be teaching Torah. And he's outreach. Outreach maybe to Gehenom, not to, not, or to Kafakela, not to Gan Eden. So the point is that not all things are alike. Other times you see people say, listen, we're being honest here. We're teaching Torah in the name of the Hasidut, in the name of this, in the name of that. And you see these people acting the exact opposite of their so-called holy teachers. Their teachers are holy, but they're not really their teachers. They're quoting Rabbi Nachman. They're quoting the Lubavitcher Rebbe. They're quoting Rav Ovadia. They're quoting the biggest tzaddikim in the world. But they're not like them. How do you know? Simply look at them. Simply hear what the words that are coming out of their mouth. If you see a person acting like an angel, in essence, literally sacrificing everything for the sake of observing the Torah, that's somebody that you can listen to. But if you see somebody that openly, proudly, and nonchalantly carelessly violating the Torah she walks around with a wig longer than the exile you're gonna listen to her he walks around like he just came out of some filthy runway show you're gonna listen to him she walks around with no arms and no legs you're gonna listen to her what are you listening to or the best yet there's one particular person someone showed me he's teaching Torah for many years he happens to also curse and uses foul language in his shiurim but nonetheless they still call him a rabbi you have to understand you cannot lie to yourself don't look for somebody like you to learn from look for somebody that you should be like you look for somebody that is like the closer to what the sages are not somebody that's where you are today because you can relate to him because he wears sneakers and you wear sneakers he likes fast cars and you like fast cars she looks like she came out of some magazine and you want to look like you shouldn't came out of the magazine that's not the way to learn a person has to be honest with themselves and needless to say the money that you are making is only going to have bracha if number one you're making it in a honest moral fashion and number two you are investing it in honest and moral places to donate money or to give money or even to buy the books of people that are corrupt is 100 percent a sinful act that rabbi nachman mibreslev writes in lekute maharan is the equivalent of wasting seed why seed is the sustenance that akadosh Baruch Hu gives a person when a person donates that sustenance to the wrong place it is the same thing rabbi nachman says as if a person wasted their seed their other sustenance so when a person before they buy books of heretics before they donate to people that are antithetical to the torah before they go to events by such people and contribute in any way shape or form they have to think twice if they want this sin on their on their account Oh, I didn't know. Now you know. It's very important for a person to be honest with themselves. There was one time I, uh, that I learned this and, and the, the, in, in a very, very uh, 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 strict way, if you, you can say, when we were dealing with this uh, 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 missionaries and so on, one of the times I asked Robert Frein, why don't we get their book? Review it and thereby, uh, uh, you know, then we could dispute everything. He asked me, sure, but can we get it for free? I said, no, it's $15. And he said to me, and? I said, what, it's $15? I have $15. You know, $15. He goes, no, chas v'shalom. He says, even if it was $1, you can't give it to them. $1, you can't give it to them. Why? That, that takes something a Kadosh Baruch Hu gave you, a blessing a Kadosh Baruch Hu gave you, and gives it to the Rashaim. It's like giving the, 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 the Nazi a gun. 
Yeah, but it's only $15. You only need one bullet. You only need one bullet. A person needs to know that when it comes to their money, they have to be very, very careful with it. Needless to say, when it comes to their time and otherwise. 